Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Hi kids! How you doing? It's the final Saturday of February. Yeah, can you believe it? I hope you all had the laziest day possible, like yours truly here. I took a long, relaxing bath, just me and my dad. Then I binge-watched my neighbor for like four hours. And then for dinner, I ate an entire pizza hut. Yeah, the whole hut. Lighting fixtures and all. Gave me just the energy I needed to deliver you the trivia you so love and deserve. Here on HQ, the live mobile game show, we answer questions to win cash. I'm your host, Dr. Quiz Medicine Woman, the Quizard of Waverly Place, Scott Rogowski. Live and in living color from a day spa in Jupiter, Florida. A legit one, I swear. With Sarah Lazarus, Casey, Johnny Larson, and Cass and Queen celebrating a birthday, along with Delaney Rose turning 20, and happy birthday, W.E.B. Du Bois! We asked about him last night on our Black History Quiz. His birthday's today. If you got screwed up on that question because of our little glitch there, hope we took care of that for you. Look in your inboxes. Tonight is all-purpose, general interest, regular old trivia, okay? I got 12 questions for you. Answer them all, and you're going to win a little moolah. $2,500! With love from me to you. That's enough for a ticket to Port St. Lucie. Catch a little spring training action. Alonzo, first pitch, yard. Mets, first place, yeah. You gotta believe, baby. That applies to all you winning HQ. Even if you don't go all the way tonight, you'll earn points for answering questions. Our season finale is getting bigger by the day thanks to those points. Let's check in on it right now. What do we got, that jackpot? We're over 100K. 111,543. Woo-wee! You can almost buy the Mets with that money. They're, they're at a discount these days. You also get free passes with those points. Yeah, those are going to help you tonight, along with extra lives. Did you get You got it? You can, you can refer a friend to get one or play five days in a row, buy one right now. Come on, bro. Get one tonight and for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. That's the biggie. Oscars night, baby. Winner takes all here on HQ. Yeah, forget the book. It's all about the green. Will you be the favorite? Huh? $10,000 going to just one of them. Manana. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Do not miss that one. And Monday night, we're going back into the Spider-Verse. The Marvel-Verse. We did it once before. In honor of Stan Lee. We're doing it again, baby. Monday, 9 p.m. Marvel Movie Trivia Night. Okay. Enough of that. Let's play ball. Step up to the plate. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and get this show on the road on this Saturday night with 360,000 of you live around the world for Cumero Numero Uno. According to an old saying, he who hesitates is what? Lost, bad at racing, or holding up brunch? Uh, eggs Benny or lemon ricotta pancakes? Uh, or I could do an acai bowl. Just pick something, Sandra. This saying is so old it predates brunch. He who hesitates is lost. AKA vacillation may have unfortunate consequences. 296,478, not hesitating, finding Q2 on this evening, this lovely February the 23rd. What animal is known for crowing at sunrise? Potato bug, Siamese cat, or rooster? We New York City kids don't know much about you farm boys and your country ways, but even I know nature's OG alarm clock is the rooster. Crazy rooster crows at midnight. Balls of lightning roll along. 308,521. Oh, a lot of you still in the game. Your free pass got you back in there. 308,521. Women laughing, children scream. You're getting Q3. What part of speech describes things? Adjective, sedative, or digestive? I'm going downtown, baby. Your street in the Range Rover. A little country grammar for you. Or city grammar. Doesn't matter where you live. The words that describe or modify nouns or pronouns are called adjectives. Come on, you knew that. Here's an adjective, an adjective for 309,479 of you. Correct! 1753, did you take a sedative before the show? No, come on. Adjective is the answer. We're all rolling along merrily. We go to Q4. Which of these is not suitable for a vegetarian diet? Prawns, porcini, or polenta? Shout out my veggie heads out there. Porcini sounds a lot like pork, don't it? Word does mean little piggy. In Italian, too bad it's a type of mushroom. Pigs were fond of them then and now. Polenta is boiled cornmeal, but if you're a vegetarian, steer clear of prawns. Prawns! It's shrimp! Shrimp! And white wine! 248,578. Pouring some out 
for, well, not you, you got it right. I'm pouring some out for the 62,000 who thought polenta and porcini were, were meaty. No, no. Bronze, that's the Q5. Crustacean. What game show coined the catchphrase survey says? The newlywed game, Family Feud, or Card Sharks? All three of these shows involve guessing the outcomes of surveys, but in only one has the host said, survey says, while gesturing to a big board for over 40 years now. It's, it's Family Feud. Survey said. All right. All right. Shout out rich homie Dawson, the OG right there. Louis Anderson, Richard Karn, John O'Hurley, Steve Harvey, the current host, 298,083. I have no feud with you. You have Q6 right now. Survey says Q6. Who does the Solicitor General of the U.S. report to? Secretary of State, Attorney General, or Secretary of Commerce? I'm so sorry to my Aussie friends who I met down in Sydney playing at 1 p.m. on a Sunday tomorrow. This is going to be tough for you, but maybe you can take a hint from the word solicitor, which in the U.K. and the Department of Justice means a legal practitioner, one who reports to the Attorney General. Yeah, the AG, baby. 160,434. Lawyer up for Q7 right now. You're doing very well. You're past the halfway point on this Saturday night. Q7. Who wrote Happy Families Are All Like? Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Virginia Woolf, Leo Tolstoy, or Charles Dickens? Getting lit at Q7 with some classic literature. All these authors wrote about some unhappy mishpuchas, but only one used this opening sentence of his classic novel, Anna Karenina. As Leo, Leo Tolstoy, for whom the bell tolls, twice for Leo. Play it, Leo. Oh, are we seriously? We're, we're seriously having savagery at Q7? You didn't know? Leo? Oh, yes we are. Savage question. And if you don't know, now you know. 73,398, they knew it. You guys did it. Good, good, good on you for like knowing, you know, books. Anna Karenina, come on, come on. 187,000, study up for the next quiz, I guess. You're out of this one, unless those levels are extra lives. You know, you know. Q8, the Gypsy Kings who perform in Andalusian Spanish hail from what country? Portugal, France, or Andorra? Mambaleo, Mambaleo. You know this band, they're a family business with most members coming from the Reyes or Baleardo clan. They're keeping alive the ancestral music of their parents. Who fled Catalonia during the Spanish Civil War to find refuge in whoa, 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 southern France? Mm -hmm. Pretty close to Catalan, just across the border there. You skip Andorra. Oh, ouchie wowie! Ay, dos mio! Another savage question. Un otro pregunta. Question? No, that's French. I'm mixing them up here. Salvaje. Salvaje pregunta, si, 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 claro. 29,240 got that one right. Bienvenido a Hotel California and Q9. The Evening Star was an unsuccessful sequel to what film? The Shawshank Redemption, Terms of Endearment, or Gandhi? Wait, what? You haven't seen The Evening Star? Neither has anybody, okay? This movie came and went in 1996 before you could say Shirley MacLaine and Jack Nicholson, who reprised their characters from Terms of Endearment and this flop of a follow-up. Yeah, Gandhi, there's no Gandhi 2 unless you're in the world of UHF. 31,260 got this one right. Terms of Endearment, a five-time Oscar winner. Remember that Oscar game is tomorrow, $10,000, but we got more for you right now at Q10. Who was the last US president to have a mustache in his official presidential portrait? Woodrow Wilson, Teddy Roosevelt, or William Howard Taft? Now, 1912 is the pivotal year here, okay? Wilson! Ba-dump, ba-dump. Woodrow Wilson won the election. I guess voters were feeling the clean-shaven look that year because Teddy and the incumbent Taft both sported an upper lip sprout. That leaves William Howard Taft as the last commander-in-chief to dangle that stash. 21,801! Mmm. You know that lip tickler? You're getting Q11, the penultimate question right now, feeling very presidential. Q11, how would Europe's Benelux countries be abbreviated in north to south order? Nebelux, Luxnabi, or Benelux? Is it just Benelux the way we know it? Or do you know it? Or do you not know it? 
Do you have your atlas handy? Quick, turn to the Western Europe page. Look at it, from north to south. There's the Netherlands, towering over the whole affair, Belgium making up that creamy middle, and Luxembourg as the power bottom. Benelux sounds better, but Nebelux is the answer. Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg, and ooh, boy, Alberto, mucho, mucho salvaje, muy salvaje. Pregunta, si, sí, another one, and another one. 25-15 are left after that. Savagery at Q11, oh, a massacre. We lost nearly 20,000 at the penultimate question, which leaves just 25-15 in the game for Q12. This is it, folks, the final round. Yes, it all boils down to this, just like that polenta, that boiled cornmeal. We're boiling it down here, $2,500, $2,515. We could be looking at a dollar plus prize. I think we're gonna be getting it here, Q12. What places were allegedly once haunted by the Roman goddess Trivia? Crossroads, oceans, or libraries? Oh, getting so meta. Asking trivia about trivia? Meta world peace. Trivia has had a lot of meanings over the years, okay? It's the plural of trivium, meaning one of the lower liberal arts. It has come to mean unimportant, from commonplace, from public place, which came from a meeting of three roads, tri via, trivia, or crossroads. Who's going down the crossroads, baby? 9,000, oh, we got some extra lives, 9,488. No crossing you up tonight, you're our winners, baby! Well, 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 color me surprised. I saw 25.15 at Q11. I guess a lot of you had those extra lives handy. Very good, you can use them on that penultimate question, but not on the final question, of course. That leaves us with 9,488 going down to the crossroads, meeting Robert Johnson. You didn't have to strike a deal with the devil to win tonight. You won 26 cents, which is, uh, well, it's something, right? You also have the glory of winning HQ. You can also share those results to get more points. Maybe those points helped you win tonight. How many of you had levels to help you win? Humble, Venom, CGA, CMH8, Suzanders, Kevrock, Just Jared, so many more of you. Look, folks, that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Well, it doesn't have to end. The fun doesn't have to end here in HQ. Words is coming up at 9.30, 15 minutes with Anna Rolls Royceman. And remember, tomorrow, join me, the one true host, Oscars doesn't have a host. We got a host on HQ, baby. 9 p.m. Winner takes all $10,000. Monday night, Marvel movie night. 9 p.m. That's going to be fun. Until I see you all again, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off, saying, why? There are no children here at the 4-H club either. Am I that out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. Good night. <laughs>